Send one onboard technology. Create a front and a rear implement. Open our implement manager wire launchpad. Actually, we have no implement connected to the tractor. If you have a lot of implements in the tractor stored, you can choose it here, but in our tractor is no implement inside. That means we have to create a new one. Click here on the button plus. Here we name our implement. We call it front. Yeah, it's important to measure your implements that you write in the correct numbers here. This is, this is important for the accuracy of your guidance system. Yeah, you see now we have here a rear implement. It's important to change here from three point hitch in the rear to the front hitch. The front implement total width is three meter and the distance between the front linkage and the middle of the implement is 1.1 meter. Yeah, from the front linkage to the end of the front implement is 1.8 meter. So this switch is on. That means the implement marks all the time on the map. Now that's not really helpful in our case. Change to automatic mode. Automatic mode means when the PTO is on or the front linkage or the valve, for example, yellow valve is active, then it marks on the map. In our case, the front linkage is the right one. Go backwards. Now we have a front implement. Here you see 3 meter total width. Track to track distance is 2.8 meter and centimeter is the overlap. So, create the rear implement. Name it rear, for example. Yeah, okay, rear implement, yes, it's three point connected power harrow, okay, three meter total width, and from the rear linkage to the end of the implement is 1.4 meter. Okay, switch to automatic mode, and here we choose the PTO as a trigger for the marker, okay. So now the implements connected to the tractor.